Well, here we are. I said it was the calm before the storm earlier. Indeed, this is the calm before the storm. It's about to get crazy up in here. Uh, when the people arrive on the other side of that white stanchion, they'll unload into a little hospitality suite, then they'll walk out here, and this is their first stop as they say hi to everybody. Hi, yeah. right, I see you, seeing me, seeing you, seeing me. Uh, let's go talk to some people. Um, one of my favorite people on the planet, Nikki Novak from Fandango. What's cracking? I couldn't sleep last night. Yeah. I slept two hours because I was so excited. You know, I, normally I never say this, but in this case, I've got to. Who are you wearing? This is amazing. Oh my God, this is Sherry Hill Couture. And my friends at Henry's are the best. They've hooked me up all award season long and I saved hopefully my favorite and the best for last. Let's spin it around so it catches okay. some sun. Let's catch some sun. Let's and also because they probably didn't hear it way over there, tell yeah, everybody again who you're wearing. Sherry Hill Couture. All right, now we'll get the look. Look at this. That is phenomenal. Thank you. All right, now thank let's you, thank you. now let's get down to the goods. Yes. So you and I saw one of the most special screenings of 1917 together. At that moment, I said it's going to be hard to beat this. I'm still feeling that way. How well, about actually, you? Actually, when I walked out of that movie, I it took me a second to get up out of my chair. But when I walked out of the movie, I said best picture, and I actually got best actor. Right. Really. For George McKay, I thought he'd get nominated. I mean, it's harder when somebody's not as well known as some of the other actors. Yeah. But in terms of like just believing the performance, I thought he was great. If it's an upset, it's probably going to be Parasite. Do we? Agree there? Yeah. Do we call it an upset still? I mean, it's such a like, yeah. Technically, are, it wouldn't be an upset. It would be it justified, wouldn't, it right? Wouldn't anymore. But it would be in the sense it would be the first time an international language film won, which would be a huge thing. Right. And it's a smaller movie. It's not what people expected in September, October. We were talking about totally different movies. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And because she's a friend, and I've been talking to her since the dawn of her career, Greta Gerwig. I think she was snubbed for best director. Do you think she's going to see some love in the other categories? I think she could for best adapted screenplay. Yeah. I have her ticked off on my Oscar polls because I do think that the fact that she was snubbed brought attention to the fact that let's watch Little Women, let's give it give it something, and I think it could be that. All right, shout out to your handle. Where are we going to find you? At Nikki Novak and at Fandango. All right. And at the Oscars. I'm going to try to make my way through this sea of humanity. Can I talk to you in a little bit? Yes. All right, see crushing it. Bye. Good to see you. Check these people out. You look fabulous. <laughs> I hate to bother an industry professional while he's working, but everybody. Um, yes. Daniel Burke just came. That's good. Daniel? Well, I'm ready. I want to talk to you. Hey, guys. We do know that. Check it out. I'm in, the, I'm in the midst of working, but I see the president of the Greta Gerwig <laughs> fan club. I am I the president stop. of the Greta Gerwig fan club. <laughs> she was robbed, my friends. Hey, it's George Pinocchio. George, Hello. everybody. Yes. All right, 30 years ago, my very first Academy Awards, I know that we were on the same carpet together. What do you most look forward to this year? What kind of change would you like to see this year? I, I want it to be calmer this year, and what I understand is that a lot of people will not get the opportunity to walk on this side. Yeah. So that means there won't be log jams and people getting in our way. So it makes it healthy. See the stars. Right. Yeah. So and, and unfortunately for those people, they'll be on the other side of the beads. They'll be on the other side of the beads. But yeah, here's the big thing we're looking for right, right now, Mark. It's raining. It's pouring in the San Fernando Valley. Will it hit us in Hollywood when the stars are arriving? It's coming our way. I see dark clouds. Be sure to watch ABC7 and ABC Network for George Pinocchio. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you. Good to see you, Mark. By the way, you were fabulous. You look great. Yeah. Bye, guys. Uh, hey, you've seen a lot of support for Parasite. I see people more on um, South Korean crews than I've ever seen before. Hey, check this lady out. Are you busy? Can I talk to you? Hi. Hey, uh, hola, chica. Hola, hola. ¿Cómo está? It's Oscar time. I'm super excited. Can you feel it on the air? Uh, this is my friend Maria Salas. She is like the Barbara Walters of the Spanish-speaking community. We've been talking about movies for a long time together, my friend. Absolutely. What are you hoping to see today? You know, I, I really love the Irishman. I love Antonio Banderas and Pedro Almodovar. I wish my Latinos, like Rodrigo Prieto, would win Best Director oh, sure. of Photography for Irishman. I wish Antonio, but unfortunately for Pride and Glory, there's this little movie, Korean Cole Parasite, that may take it all. Yeah. So unfortunately, I think, and that's the star. Hello. Say He's the I'm biggest Japanese star in the world. Right, and we're also Sexy. seeing the, because of Parasite, we're seeing more um, South Korean crews than ever before. There are a lot of people that want to see this thing. Absolutely, win. Parasite can take Best Director, Best Picture, and Best Original Screenplay. Unfortunately for Quentin, who might lose for Parasite. And also, unashamed, I'm always lobbying for Greta Gerwig. I'm always telling you to give I her love some love. Her. I love Greta Gerwig. Gerwig. 
I love you. You deserve to be nominated and you deserve your Oscar. Exactly. Good luck to you out here. You look great. Can we get a full length? Look, look how amazing you look. Good to see you, Maria Salas. Um, up until like 15 minutes ago, there was some like this really unusual plastic guard on Oscar. I never felt more hideous in all my life. These people are amazing. Me and Madigan. I'm Matt Hushy guy. Uh, hey, Josh Lyle, I'm a big fan of your work. Uh, what's going on? Anthony Snow, good to talk to you. Uh, hey, Jen, what's up? Dating queen. My good friend from Univision. Thing about it, at any given moment in time, you're in somebody's shot. The best bet is just to always keep on moving. Just keep on moving. I'll tell you who I'm going to stalk for a moment. Well, first of all, let's look at these handsome people over here. First of all, shout out to all the people in uniform. Speaking of uniform, check this out. You guys, uh, this is my producer buddy for Extra Butter and just about everything that I touch that's on ABC 10 comes from this guy. Josh, who are you wearing? Uh, rental. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. Uh, Hosea, one of the most awesome photographers on the planet. You've been here the long haul. This is your fourth day on this red carpet. And I said, oh, it's going to be changing. Have you seen a progression in activity? It's, it's uh, unbelievable. It's increased every day. It's just bigger and bigger. Yeah. Got it. Love What's it. been the hardest part of your job as a photographer trying to capture the pre-Oscar moments? What's been the hardest part? Uh, heavy lifting, I guess. Got it. Can we talk about the thing? Can we talk about my favorite part, my favorite thing? Um, and I only say this because what I'm about to tell you is the kind of thing that always happens to me. It's always the thing that I'm captain of the ripped pants. Things always happen, right? However, about an hour and a half ago, we were wrapping up and, uh, you know, nature called. And so the three of us hit these really elaborate porta potties that they have set up out there. And then I got a call on my cell phone from Josh. And Josh, what did you tell me on my cell phone? Uh, can you help me get me out of this restroom? The door is <laughs> not open. Exactly. These beautiful star wagon porta potties had a faulty lock, and you were in there for quite a while. Yeah, a few minutes. All right, the Wait. first reporter on the scene was Hosea. Describe the action. What did you see? There was a crowd. Uh, they wanted to know who it was. Are you going to post any of that? I did, yeah. yeah I yeah. may have started a rumor that it was Brad Pitt stuck in there <laughs> for a minute. But People were, uh, I think, pleasantly surprised when it was saw me. <laughs> we were about to use explosives, uh, but we got him out of there. And uh, thank you for all your hard work. Any predictions yeah. for tonight, Josh? I think it's going to be a fun show. All right, Jose. Walking Parasite. All right. Greta. Hopefully Greta gets it away. Right. I want to deem Dizelle to win big today. That's all I'm hoping. <laughs> she was great this year. Uh, I'm going to go stalk Adrian Bankert for a moment and see if she'll talk to me. And then uh, we'll go get stationed. Keep watching ABC 10. And uh, be sure and uh, check out Extra Butter right now if you want that last-minute glimpse of all the sit-down chats that we had with all of the nominees. Go to Extra Butter TV and look for our Oscar special. All right. Once again, head to toe. Look at these guys. These guys. All right. I'll be right back. Well, hello. Oh my God. Yeah, you it's clean out very nicely. Out and I tried, and I could fix my, fix my bow tie. Right Andrew Fern, so everybody can follow you. Throw out your handles right now. Where do we find you? Uh, just find me at my name, at Andrew Freund, F R E. U-N-D, or you can watch me on Dish Nation. Mr. Freund, we have traveled the world literally talking to celebrities about stuff. Yeah. Uh, who are you most excited to see take home the big win? Ooh. During the year, who is the guy or the lady that you talked to and you said, in advance, congratulations? Brad Pitt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Brad yeah. Pitt. He's going to win, hands down. down. Or, you know, Renee Zellweger. We talked to her in, uh, sure. in Toronto. Yeah. Um, Joaquin. Lord, Joaquin. Okay, and I will say this, and we review movies, so we're honest. I'm not the biggest Joker fan. 
I am not the biggest fan of that film. I, I liked it. I didn't love it, but I did love his performance. He was great, but it's not my best picture. My best picture is 1917. I think it's going to win as well. Yeah. Now, being friends with Greta Gerwig, I'm also championing her cause. Do you think she'll see it in some of the other categories, the other six she's nominated for? No. Nothing? No, I don't you think, think so. this could be a shutout for I... Little Women? Andrew! I don't think so. I, okay. I, but you know what? It's the Academy. They marched to their own drummer. Last year, everyone thought Glenn Close was going to win. She didn't, so... Who okay. knows? If not 1917, you think Parasite? I was just going to say Parasite. I'm going to the Parasite party tonight, so I'm very excited because if they do win, it's going to be electric. Lucky look, you. Where look, is the Parasite one, party? It's the face of Telemundo right hey, now. Hey, Telemundo. Hello. Hello. Hola, hola. Good to see you. Yeah. What's going to win? Uh, 1917, but I wish it was Parasite. And what's your favorite movie of the year that's not represented, that doesn't get mm, Oscars? That's the, well, my favorite movie of the year, but I don't know if it's going to win anything, is Jojo Rabbit. But uh, it is nominated. Yes, yes, yes. But I just don't think it's the favorite to win. I agree. I agree. Hey, let me see a look of you two. Look, that's what it's all about right there. Yeah. All right, these guys are making me look hideous. So I better <laughs> no, look great. Bye, guys. Good to see you. All right, let's see if we can find Adrian anywhere. Hey, I know you're very busy, but I just want to say hi. You guys are crushing it right now. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Let's make sure we're not look. <laughs> we have to move back. As a, <laughs> as a little kid growing up, watching the Oscars, going to the movies, what's the most exciting thing about tonight? Well, first of all, I was a little kid watching you. Oh, well, for the love, please. You don't have to you, say that. I still have to go. Have to, like, physically and now my producer. Okay, you like, got to go. Go to work. We'll catch up. Well, the thing is, here, come this way. Okay, this is this is what you do. So so I'm not in this particular segment, but I'm gotcha. about to after the commercial break. Am I still We're in the way? Still. I'm on, so sorry, back. Adrian. No, Here, that's okay. Get off. Go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's yeah. just get go. Off. Like how about push up against here? Okay. Okay. Hi, Adrian. Sorry about that. Do you guys know how much BTS you're getting right now? <laughs> My producers are super kind. My cameramen are super kind. But literally, we can't be in any right, shots. Right, you take an inch one way or the other, and you're in somebody and, else's shots. And I'm wearing show. a cape. And that's so not easy to navigate. my dress is actually taking up more room than normal. People so, probably want to know, where does Adrian Vinkert shop? Where are you getting this? Who is your fashion so designer? So, it's interesting. I wore a dress earlier this morning by uh, Leanne Marshall. She's from Yuba City originally. Wow. She won Project, she was on Project Runway. Yeah, of course. I know exactly who And um, she and I be got, became friends through a story I did. Right. Anyways, on, she's a beautiful on. designer. And... Um, I have a corset on by her with a dress from a stylist here in LA called Ivan Bitton. Turns out he's originally from Lyon. Oh, no kidding. And so we talked about when I was there for the Women's World Cup. Oh, okay. So it's always two degrees of separation. So yeah. You're always connecting the dots. Yeah, but it's like, it's so challenging to find the right look. And I actually procrastinated because I had way too much going on. 
but you need an army of people. I don't know about what it's like for men, but when you're dressing for an event like this, it's like, how do you decide what the perfect look is? Sure. How do you know what's going to be flattering on camera? And normally I would want a pop of color because it's bright and cheery. Right. And looks good in my complexion. But I just thought a champagne color blush would be better. So Ivan Bitton, shout out to you. And shout out to Leanne Marshall because she really did take care of me. And that's NorCal love. I mean, when we found out we were both two small, girl, small town girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's from Yuba City. I was raised in Sheridan, California. Of course. <laughs> it was like, okay, we're sisters from another mister. So So what do you expect tonight with the ceremony? Like to, to the haters, they go, we're, we're tired of award shows. It's all politics. I have a feeling tonight's going to be a different vibe. They, I think, intentionally are staying away from politics. And I think they just want a really feel-good moment. So many of the stars have talked Talked about kindness. It's been fun for me to log it. You know that I have a special reason for it. Of course, it. it's all you know, about kindness. Yeah, and I'm feeling it. Propagating kindness. But I think it's too about, you know, having movies and projects that make a difference. I was thinking, what an Aaron Brockovich style moment for so many of these stories. Of course. You know, you take a movie and you take a good story, but it also helps to impact the culture and impact conversations that we have about real life problems and real life solutions. So in that way, I think it's all going to be about kindness and moving things forward and opening up those discussions. Yeah, and perspective. I think people are getting a different perspective on historic events. Uh, Ford versus Ferrari right. was a great story based on a true story. Of course. Um, Harriet Tubman of course, uh, Legacy Lives On in Harriet with Cynthia Erivo. Right. And then you have movies like Bombshell that are opening up a whole other kind of discourse of course. in recent history. When we go back to fashion, I laid a prediction out tonight that Cynthia is probably going to be the one to watch. She always brings it. Yes, and Josie, our fashion journalist, uh -huh. was saying the same thing. Oh, no That's kidding. his muse. He says that Oscar's muse is Cynthia Revo because she's so out of the box, she's so colorful, she's so bold. Right. Totally different look, and there's no other Cynthia Revo. No kidding. In a lot of ways. You know, I've taken such advantage of our friendship because you need to be chilling out right now. This is your only moment to chill before Greta comes down the red carpet and Brad comes down the red carpet. Well, this is my only moment to chill in the past three hours. ABC has been live on the network in all markets this morning it. with the pre-show. And we're just giving people highlights, giving people behind the scenes, giving people some of our interviews. I didn't realize how many movies that I had like conducted over this past year that were part of this ceremony. You're connected. I'm so honored. I mean, I'm a little girl from Placer County. I'm very, very thankful. You deserve this and everything and then some. Well, so will, do you. Will you be bonding with Greta? Will you do a little hometown love when you guys if talk? If I see her, I honestly don't know my schedule. So you're going to see Mark. In fact, I want you to look out for Mark's content because not only does he do the TikTok challenge like no other, but he has great interviews. I mean, it's just you're such an inspiration. So I'm, I, I'm walking in everyone's shot. I feel like I've ruined every single network, every single show by walking into their shot. Well, not unlike sure, yours. I'm making sure that they're still on TV and I'm not needed, but they would tell me in my ear. So thankfully, I'm still hooked up to IFB. That we have a little, I don't know if you guys can see this. Yeah, it's there. But yeah, there's a little bug in my ear to make sure that my uh, director, uh, the showrunner, are talking to me and saying, hey, get your behind over here. So nobody said that, so it's good news. All right, they're about to lock <laughs> me down in my bullpen, so I'm going out okay. there. It is an honor knowing you. Thanks for all the kindness um, mwah, mwah, mwah. to the world. All right. Thank you so much. Why are we trying to high five? It's like now, now we're family because he just snatched me from ABC's uh, <laughs> open over here. Spread my apologies all the way around. They, will you? they love you. They love you. Love you back. Bye. I love you. Bye.